Kimmy. I love you both. Congratulations. Congratulations. You're a good guy, Isaiah. Congratulations, Kim and Isaiah. We're so happy for you. Congratulations to both of you. I love you both. Congratulations to the bo both of you. I'm happy for you. Hey, congratulations! No, I just love you both. I uh, hope everything works out for the best for you. If you ever need anything, I'm just phone call away, guys. Congratulations, Isaiah. Happy for you. Isaiah, Kim, congratulations. Uh, hope everything works out well. I know it will. I love you guys. Kim, Isaiah, congratulations. I hope you guys are happy together. I hope they're happy together. And I hope everything's great. I love them both. Congratulations, Zay. You're my saving grace. And Kimmy. I love you too. Congratulations, Kimberly. Congratulations, Isaiah. Isaiah, we're so happy to have you in our family. Amen. 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 Good to have you, brother. Yeah. Good to have him as a son. Too. That's right. We're taking right on. We're not giving up our daughter. We're taking on a son. That's always me. Right. I'm glad to have some girls in my There you go. Exactly. <laughs> and we're glad to have some boys. <laughs>
but you're going to have to love him a lot because he's used to hugs and kisses and praise. He's used to praise. You'll have to praise him a lot. You know, when I used to say, there's my football hero, and he would say, Mom, I didn't even get into the game, I would say, I don't care, you're still my football hero. So just, just love him and talk to him, even if you're mad at him. Set him down, talk to him about stuff. Okay. You should treat him like I have treated your father for 33 years. <laughs> Well, you Poor know guy. that's been good. Now <laughs> <laughs> oh, you still got a smile on <laughs> There you go, Tony. Thank you. Uh, um, hmm. And let him make sure that he's the head of the household because that's the way God has it all set up, planned to be. That doesn't mean you just boss. We'll explain that in detail later. <laughs> and what else should I tell you? I don't know, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> what did he say? He wasn't paying attention. No. <laughs> but just always don't go to bed mad at night. Always make it for you go to bed. Ouch. Or don't go to bed. <laughs> 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 or sleep on the couch. <laughs> That's why I wore out one chair sleep. <laughs> <laughs> still have dogs. Um, one kid. They'll have at least three kids. They're going to have one kid. Yeah, I think they'll still have the two dogs and they'll have a couple little ones running around, I'm hoping. I think they'll still have the two dogs, although I have to say, I think when Kim gets a couple kids, sh that the dogs will go out and that the kids will be in, the dogs will go out. They better have little babies running around, so my little girl will have somebody to play with. Kim will still be running the beauty shop, and Isaiah, uh, who knows, as much as he changes his mind, it's hard to tell. Hope what they're doing is what they want to be doing. He's going to be uh, working for the family, she's going to have her shop still, so hopefully they'll still be here in Pennsburg and uh, still be able to hang out all the time. Oh, Isaiah is going to have his future will be here at the sawmill and I think he'll take up business every good and have everything under under his hands there, run things for Jim. I think he'll be all right at that. Yeah, I think they'll probably have some kids, maybe not real soon, but it's hard to tell. Yeah, I think they'll still be living here in Pennsburg. Isaiah will still be working at the sawmill. Kim will still be cutting hair. And I think that eventually they'll have kids. I don't know if they want it a couple years from now or how, however, but they'll be having kids someday. He'll be a great father. Kids. Lots and lots of kids for me to give candy bars and pop to. And then she will worry about him getting on her nerves. Yes, there will have probably be at least two children. Kim will still be working part-time, and she will expect Zaya to babysit a lot. <laughs> Isaiah will be working for Jim, and he'll be working really hard, and he'll be tired a lot. And she's really going to be tired all the time. But they're still going to be happy, and they're still going to love each other. I think Cam will still be doing hair. And I think that they will have probably started a family. And Isaiah, of course, will be part of the business, family business, and he will be very successful at it. And what do you got to say about it? Oh, my turn. Three years, three, four. They'll have kids. Uh, their life will change when they have kids. So majorly. No more freedom after that. See what you get when you have kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look through that tent. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, Kim will be doing hair part time, raising a family. Isaiah will be working and uh, working along with Peggy and Tracy and any other members of the family making it go. We're really glad to have him. Got a lot to learn, but he'll learn. That's quick. right. He's a and we're going to just back off whenever we can and let him run. A few years ago, Kim and I took a trip to the beach, just all girls. 
And her and Isaiah had broken up at that time, and all she did is lay around for the whole week and cry and boohoo. And now they're married, so they could have had it. She could have had a better time. It's when we all went out. Remember that time? We all went out. We woke up in Mexico. Kimmy and you were married. <laughs> that was a great time. <laughs> Next. But so just so Isaiah would could know that. Um, the, the next story would be, um, remember the time when we snuck into that concert, and you got caught, uh, and then you re-snuck in, but by the time you got there, you were covered in mud where you'd fell in a hole. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite story to tell about Kim is, um, when we were little, she had a fetish and was scared to death of dead, little dead mice. I found a little dead mouse and I picked it up by the tail and I was chasing her around with it and she was going to tell on me and I told her if she tattled on me that I would put it under her pillow. And she was like, whatever, she won't really do that. Well, I did. She woke up in the middle of the night, stretched out underneath her pillow, dead mouse, gets up, runs in, tells mom and dad. Mom and dad laughed and I never got in any trouble. There was a time that I lived with her for a couple of years in Parkersburg and we had this little, um, um, balcony outside of our apartment and she opened up the door and the sun catcher fell and she locked, actually shut it and she got locked out on her porch and so we had to go get the neighbor to come over and it was just funny she was out there laying on the on the balcony laughing. One night we were just driving around having a good old time come up on Isaiah and one of his buddies that had had an accident. We get out of the vehicle and there was this little culvert. Kim falls down and she's going, help me, Mindy. And I'm like, Kimmy, I can't reach you. I couldn't reach her for the life of me. We finally got her up out of there. And she was pretty banged up. But we survived and we got her home. <laughs> when I think of him a little, he was rotten. There was never a dull moment with Isaiah around. Never. <laughs> I wish him the best of luck, though. One time when I was using the bathroom, Isaiah comes in and sticks a whole roll of toilet paper in, into the fire. And... Uh, then decides to throw it in the trash can and catches our bathroom on fire. It was pretty exciting. Saw so Isaiah stick a firecracker up a frog's butt one time. Pretty interesting. Don't try to say you didn't do it either because I know you did. I've just known Isaiah for about three years. I started working down at Hayhurst with him. Actually, he started working there after I did, and I never knew him in school, but we've had a lot of big times at work and. Uh, Oh, there's a lot, of, there's so many stories, some I can't mention, but we've had a lot of good times, and uh, that's about all I got to say. Good story. Well, I got a lot of stories I can't mention, but the one, it was during winter time, we had a bunch of snow on the ground, and Isaiah was building an igloo, and me and Shane came over and we thought we'd help him. While Isaiah's digging snow, getting everything together, me and Shane thought it would be fun to throw snowballs at each other. And while Isaiah was working, we started throwing snowballs at him. He got a little aggravated at us because he was doing all the work and we was doing all the playing. Isaiah bought this radio-controlled plane that was probably about this big from Harbor Freight. Spent like two hours putting it together, reading instructions and everything. And the whole time he's doing this, she's telling him, you can't fly that plane outside, you're going to get caught in a tree. Well, he pretty well told her, you know, mind her business. He was a plane flyer around here. He knew what was going on. So uh, we go outside, and he gets it turned on, revved up wide open, and he says, okay, now throw it. She's standing on the porch, and I give that plane a toss. It flies real nice for about 30 feet, and veers off, smacks a tree. So I turn and look at her, and she just smiles and walks in the house. And I just went to my house because <laughs> I figured uh, the bad stuff was coming. But yeah, that was a pretty good time. I just remember when Zay was dirt when he was little, he was always dirty because he always liked like to sit in tree stumps and pour dirt over his head and sit at the end. Of oh, how about that time you played little league mini ball? And all of a sudden, we're in the middle of a ball game, and he goes walking across the field, and I said, "Where are you going?" And he said, "I got to pee. I'm going to the creek." <laughs> and away he went, down to the creek in the middle of the ball game. We had to stop the game so he could go to the bathroom down the creek. He was probably about five or six. Then. <laughs>